one of the most poignant pictures you will ever see in the paper, a firefighter administering oxygen to a puppy or a kitten injured in a fire. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver, and we are here in the state house, the state capitol, I should say, under the gold dome, talking with state lawmakers as they hold their legislative session. And I am here with Senator David Balmer to talk about some legislation regarding this issue. Um, I know that you have been involved in a number of animal issues over the years. Talk about this particular piece of legislation and, and why we need to um, help out the firefighters who are helping our animals. Well, I am excited to be carrying this bill. Uh, it's going to allow uh, EMTs and firefighters to provide emergency care to dogs and cats that have been injured in a flood or a fire or an automobile accident or some other type of emergency. Um, actually, they've been doing that for a long time. For decades, firefighters have have given emergency care to dogs and cats, but it's never been legal. It's actually a violation of the Colorado Veterinary Medicine Practice Act. So only vets are legally allowed to provide uh, care to animals. So we're creating a narrow exception to allow EMTs and firefighters to provide emergency care, just stabilizing care, like bandaging them or giving them oxygen when they come out of a fire. Um, we worked with the Colorado Veterinary Medicine Association, they helped us draft the bill. We worked with the EMT Association, they helped us draft the bill. And we have a good consensus bill to be in committee tomorrow for its first hearing. And uh, we also have, are thankful to have the support of a lot of uh, dog and cat lovers from across the state. Of course, I'm a dog lover. Yeah, um, let's talk about we, why you brought this up. Well, David. I'm very thankful to have uh, three dogs at home. And uh, when I get home uh, from work, uh, they give me the best greeting that anybody could ever get. And it lasts for about 10 minutes. And um, <laughs> they all want to bring me one of their toys. And uh, we have a really fun time playing with the dogs when I get home. Yeah. So you've, you know that a lot of people, obviously, in Colorado are very passionate about their animals. Had you heard from other constituents um, regarding that and saying, you know, really, we need to kind of close this loophole so that these animals can can get some treatment, but it doesn't put them in the ambulance or anything else, right? You know, the interesting thing about it is that the EMT Association was concerned that they were providing this care um, without really having any legal protection to do so. And the Colorado Veterinary Medicine Association was very excited to extend this to them. So everybody that's been involved in the bill has been anxious to make sure that dogs and cats get emergency stabilizing care uh, when they are coming out of an emergency. You know, the best thing about it is it also will help to calm down the human victims. Right, that's when what they I was know, say. Yeah, yeah, when they know that their dog is being cared for, they will sit still and let the paramedic work on the, the human. Yeah. Uh, but if they don't know where their dog is, then they're going to be just hysterical, you know, go back in and get my dog. And go isn't back that in. one of the reasons people do run back into oh, yes. bad and dangerous situations, right? It's much safer for the firefighter to pull that dog out of the house. They actually have a lot of equipment for that. They often wear very heavy, thick gloves on their arms because the dogs are so freaked out mm. that they sometimes bite the firefighters right. when they're picking them up to right. take them out of the building because they are absolutely scared out of their mind. Right, reassuring for the, the animal and the human. So All the, right. Yeah, the best thing that you can do is take that dog to its owner yeah. in that situation so the dog then sees the owner and calms down immediately. Right. right. Uh, there's, also, there's also been cases where firefighters have had to get a dog out of a house so that they can work to put the fire out. Okay. And um, so it's, a, it's been a great bill all around. Win-win, sounds like. Senator David Balmer, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver.